Last time we were able to deal with the uh, decision trees that we completed. So today we begin our discussion on the next item, which is called uh, combinations. Or rather, you can put them like this. Eh? We can put them like this. I think I need to them. Methods used count in probability theory. Methods used to count in probability theory. So number one, we need to assert theory. Number two, we need to have probability three. Number three, we need to have permutation. Permutation, permutation. Number four, we need to have combination. So the first uh, two we already have discussed. We have discussed theory, we have discussed probability trees. So let's start with this one permutation. So permutation. A mutation, and you write that this is a method used. This is a method used to determine the number of ways. Determine the number of ways in which in which N different items. N different items can be arranged. Can be arranged while selecting R items at a time. While selecting R items at a time. without regard to order, without regard to order. Oh, sorry, with regard to order, with regard to order, with regard to order, with regard to order. First of all, it's computed as NPR is equals to N factorial, N minus R factorial is equals to number of weeks. This table is called factorial notation. Factorial notation. Okay. Uh, from the calculator, calculator, take your calculator. Uh, yeah. If you are told, first of all, check whether you can see this sign on the card. You able to see it? Okay, so give me or type five, then press factorial, and then you say equals. The answer is 120. That's how you got it. I hope Tracy, you are following that. Ah, yeah. Check whether you can see this sign, NPR. See it, eh? 
So if you can see it, give three, P three. So you press three. Uh, then you shift the last button, then you press three. Then you say equals. You get what? Six. Yeah, you get six. Okay, Tracy, we are together. Yeah, so uh, I don't need to do a lot of, uh, I don't need to explain manually because you have the calc, and you have seen how to use the calc. Okay? Yeah, so that is as simple as that. Let's look at combination. 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 By nation, nation, and write that this is used to determine this is used to determine the number of ways. The number of ways in which n different items, the number of ways in which n different items, n different items can be arranged, can be arranged while selecting, while selecting R items at a time while selecting R items at a time without regard to order, without regard to order. It's computer does, it's computer does, The number of ways equals to n combined r, which is n factorial, uh, n minus r factorial, r factorial. Okay, so if you have uh, say from the calc, from the calculator, three combined three. So again, you just use the button of the NCR, you type three, that button, then you type three, then you say equals. What is the answer? One. Uh, if you are told five combined two, five combined two, the same five, press that button, then two, then equals. You get what? Ten ways. Yeah. So that is uh, how simple it is. Okay. Uh, then down there you write that combinations are used to compute probabilities. Combinations are used to compute probabilities. Combinations are used to compute probabilities. Yeah. Used to compute probabilities. Yeah. Using the formula. Using the formula, probability is equals to desired ways over possible ways. Desired ways over possible ways. Okay, so I want us to look at question number nine. Question number nine in our handouts. 
question number nine. Uh, the question says, a committee of four persons is to be appointed from three officers of production department, six from purchase department, two officers on the sales department, and one chartered accountant. Five, the probability of forming the committee in the following manner. There must be one from each category. Now, in uh, answering that question nine, in answering question uh, nine, first of all, we need to know the possible ways. The possible ways. So the possible ways is that we want a committee of uh, four guys. And uh, the total that we are selecting from, we have three from purchase. We have no, we have three from production. We have six from purchase. We have two from uh, sales and one accountant. So from this, it is where we want to choose four. So these are. 12 guys. So 12 combined four. Tell me how many weeks those ones are. 12 combined four. 495 weeks. Yeah, 495 weeks. So that is what is possible. Now, when they say there must be one from each category. So one from each category. Now, if we are looking for one from each category, the desired ways, the desired ways will be Uh, the desired ways would be from these three, we choose one. Eh? From those three, we choose one. And when you say add, it becomes time set. Eh? And from these six, we choose one. And from these two, we choose one. And from this one, we choose one. So it has yet to a cut the zico. Three combine one times six combine one times two combine one times one combine one. That is an intersection of events. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is six. So the probability will then be that six out of four ninety five. That is six out of four ninety five. And number two to Nabiwa, at least one from parking department. At least one from parties. So if they are saying one from parties. The desired ways are like this. One purchase and three others. One purchase and three others, because we want four persons. So the purchase guys, they are six of them. So from six, we choose one. 
And from others, six, because in total, the persons are 12. So from the others, six, we choose three. So six choose one. One twenty, or you can have one or two patches, two patches, and two others, two patches and two others. So from these six, we choose two, and from the other six, we choose two. Two twenty five. All three parties and one other. So from six, you choose three, and from six, you choose one. One twenty. All four parties, because parties bundle can afford four. Add zero other. Add zero other. So from the six we choose four, and from the other six we choose zero. From the others six. So the probability then, the probability will then be the desired ways, which are 120 plus 225 plus 120 plus 15. Now all these you divide by 495. That is what will give us so you have your answer. Okay. So the next question one asema. Uh, the accountant must be the committee. Accountant must be in the committee. The accountant must be in the committee. So the desired, this one is very simple. It is uh, from one, we choose one because there is only one accountant. Yeah? And then from the other 11, we choose three. From the other 11, we choose three. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. One sixty five. So the probability will be one sixty five out of four ninety five. Okay, so that is how we go about it. Uh, let us go to question 10. 
Question 10. Uh, question 10, they are saying, Committee of four has to be formed from three economists, four engineers, and two mathematicians, and one doctor. What is the probability that each of the four professions will be represented? So now that we have understood the uh, probability of each four represented, So the problem, now here we can go straight. We want, from the three economists, we have one guy, see that? From the four engineers, we have one. From uh, the two mathematicians, we have one. And from one doctor, we have one. Now that is the desire. Possible to say my three plus four, seven, plus two, nine, plus one, ten. So it will be from ten, you choose four. So you have to write that you have to calculate two and equal. Open the bracket, three combine one times four combine one times two combine one, times one combine one, you divide by 10 combine four. Zero point. One one four. Uh, the next one is uh, what is the probability that the committee will consist of the doctor and at least one economist? Okay. Probability of a doctor. And one economist. So this one, we have how many doctors? Just one. Eh? So one doctor, choose one. And one economist. Economists, they are three. Eh? So from the three, you choose one. So already to call two committee members, who you have to Now from our 10 people, to share to a six, uh, four. So from the six others, you choose two. That's the first possibility. All, all, the second one is eh, from one doctor, you choose one. From the three economists, now you choose two. Because the Nabi was big one, economist. So you choose two. Or from the six others, you now choose one. So that committee are quite giant. So that the committee has uh, four passes. Or it is possible you will have your one doctor. Then from the three economists, you choose three guys. Your committee could be job, four persons there. Eh? And then from the six others, you choose no one. Then all these, eh? all these, you have to divide now, 10 combined four. Then combine four. Thank you. 
So we are done with that, eh? Uh, then you can do the other question that follows, eh? Question uh, what, 11, eh? Yeah, you can do that question 11 uh, on your own. The next thing that we are supposed to look at is uh, what we call measures of central tendency, central tendency and dispersion in probability theory. In probability theory. In probability theory. So, uh, these are things that we covered. If you remember what we said when we were in descriptive statistics, and uh, the question that is there, this question number twelve. That one you shall do on your own. It's just like the others we did in uh, descriptive statistics. The one that has a bit of probabilities is question thirteen, and that is the one that I want us to deal with question 13. Okay. And because we already have uh, we already have discussed these measures, my job here is just to give you the formula so to show how it's computed. So if you look at uh, now I'm solving question 13. Question 13. So the analysis table for chemicals, for chemicals, uh, 
I will have the returns here. And the returns become my xi. Then I will have the probability. That is the probability of xi that way. Then I will have a column where xi is multiplied by xi. Probability of xi. Then I have a column where xi you less x by you square. You multiply by probability of x i. Those are the columns that I will need to have. So these columns. I have minus 20 with a probability of 0 0.05. Or I have minus 10 with a probability of 0 0.1. I have 0 with a probability of 0 0.2. I have 10 with a probability of 0 0.2. I have 20 with a probability of 0 0.2. I have 30 with a probability of 0 0.2. I have 40 with a probability of 0 0.05. Then obviously I will have a doctor here. I multiply and give me the total here. Multiply these ones, give me the total. This one should be one. Uh -huh. This one? Twelve. Eight. What is twelve? Confirmed? Yes, the trace has confirmed. 
So if uh, that is 12, eh? this one, eh? Nakuja hapa unasema minus 20 minus 12. You square, na both prime na hii probability. Then minus 10 minus 12, you square, multiplied by the probability. 0 minus 12, you square, multiplied by 0 0.2. Naendelea na mna hiyo, kuja mpaka hii amish of 40 minus 12, you square multiplied by 0 Welcome, I'm dealing with question number 13, the handout. But I'll send you the recording, uh, as I had promised. Two for six. Okay, so with those values now, we come down here and get something we call expected value. Now, expected value is the one that in general statistics we call the mean. The expected value is the one we call the mean. So it's normally given as the expected value of x, or you can say it is x bar. And the formula is sum of xi multiplied by probability of xi. Multiplied by the probability of xi. 
So this is the one that has given us, see here we have multiplied these ones, eh? and we have added. So the total is 12. So that is the mean. So that total is the mean. Uh, the next one is called uh, variance. Variance. Now, variance delta square is given as sum of uh, xi minus x by square. You multiply by xi. What about x So this one we have uh, done the same we got in two forty six. The total. Yes, sir. 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 So 246, I believe, is the total of this is in your phone. Yes, so that is the answer. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes, this square. This one. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it's written. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This one. That's how it's written. Yes. That's bad. Yes. OK. Then. Uh, standard deviation. Standard deviation. So standard deviation delta. You see now that one does not have the square because the square root of values is the square root of values. So you get the square root of two forty six. You get the square root of two forty six. The thing point six eight. The point six eight. Then there is someone else called coefficient of Variation. Coefficient of variation. Uh, this coefficient of variation CV is given as delta divided by the mean times 100. So this will be 15.68. Divide by the mean of 12, multiplied by 100. One? 0.7%. So those are the descriptive measures that you require to know as far as the probability theory is concerned. Uh, Maggie, welcome and uh, mute yourself.
Uh, so I believe you can do the same for the other, it is brewers. Eh? So I suggest you leave a similar space. Similar space, you draw a table for the brewers, you do these computations. Eh? Yeah, you do the computations. Uh, now this one is the mean, if they have a representative. That means Kiangaria, most of them, they are around here. It's called the measure of central statistics, where most of the values tend to be concentrated. Now, these two, they are measures of variation. They show how far away a particular value is from uh, the center, from the mean. Or they are measures of risk. When we go to the next topic, which maybe we shall be doing next week, we shall be calling them measures of risk. The distance you are from the center. So we have the square and the north squared. And then this one is a, is a relative measure. It compares the mean, the standard deviation. How many means are in one standard deviation? Okay. So uh, having said that, I wish that we proceed. Uh, you will also attempt question number 14 is on the same. Is on the same. Let's go to discuss something else called the probability distributions. Probability distributions, probability distributions, probability distributions, and write that a probability distribution, a probability distribution is a table, is a table or a function, or a function that is used to compute probabilities. Is a table or a function that is used to compute probabilities used to compute probabilities of experiments, of experiments. They are broadly divided into two. They are broadly divided into two. Mm -hmm. One, discrete probability distributions. Discrete probability distributions. And we explain that these are used where, these are used where, The values of the experiment, the values of the experiment can only be expressed in whole numbers. Can only be expressed in whole numbers. So the most common al. The most common are binomial ability distribution, the first one. Number two, Poisson. 
probability distribution. Maybe I can mention others, although we shall not discuss them. There is another one called uniform, and there is another one called hypergeometric. Uniform probability distribution and hypergeometric probability distribution. But these two do not discuss them, they're not in your syllabus. Number two. Number two, and I to a number two continuous probability distributions. Continuous probability distributions. And right, these are used where the values in the experiment. These are used where values in the experiment. Values in the experiment. Can be expressed even as decimals. The values in the experiment can be expressed even as decimals. Be expressed even as decimals. The most common are the most common are Roman one. Uh, exponential number two is normal number three is F another one is called T another one is called chi square So this one then, eh? uh, these three, we shall not discuss them now, but they will be appearing as we go by and by in other areas. But these two, we shall discuss. So let's start with the first one, binomial probability distribution. Binomial probability distribution. Binomial probability distribution. And write that this is used where this is used where the following properties or characteristics exist. This is used where the following properties all characteristics exist. Following properties or characteristics exist. One, the experiment relates to a discrete variable. The experiment relates to a discrete variable. Number two, the experiment has only two possible outcomes. The experiment has only two possible outcomes. Full so stop, but still on the same point, still on the same point, you're right. The desired outcome is called success. The desired outcome is called success, while the other outcome is called failure. While the other outcome is called failure. 
Cada outcome is a failure. Number three, the probability of success, bracket P. Probability of success, bracket P. And that of failure, with bracket Q. That of failure, bracket Q. The main constant. The main constant throughout the experiments or throughout the trials, throughout the trials, the main constant throughout the trials. Full stop. And still on the same point, you write P plus Q should be equal to one. P plus two should be equal to one. Number four is that the trials are independent of each other. The trials are independent of each other. Okay, then down there you write that if the above conditions have been satisfied, if the above conditions have been satisfied, if the above conditions have been satisfied, the probability of obtaining X successes, the probability of obtaining X successes, X successes, Probability of obtaining X successes after undertaking N trials. After undertaking N trials is computed as false. Probability that X capital is equals to X small is equals to N combined X. P is for x, q is for n minus x. N combined x, multiplied by p is for x, multiplied by q is for n minus x. The mean, that is the x bar, is given as np. Variance. That is delta square is given as NPQ. Yeah. Therefore, it goes without saying that if they told you to get the standard deviation, that is delta, it is the square root of NPQ. Mm NPQ. So that is what we call binomial probability distribution. So we can uh, look at question number by what? Number 15, now I had that. Question 15. Uh, in a summer, an old established family farm has decided to go public. It has been reported that 80% of the stocks broking farms are recommending the issue to their clients. Assume that this report is true. Suppose six stock brokers are contacted at random. Find the probability that at least four of them are recommending the purchase of this issue to their clients. 
So when you look at that, you can be able to see that uh, it is binomial because we are dealing with brokers. Brokers, you cannot express them as what? Decimals. The question is about brokers. So that is discrete. And then there are already two possible outcomes. A broker will just tell you buy or don't buy. They will just uh, recommend or not recommend. And then the probability is uh, given there. Uh, 80%, we are not told it is changing. And then these trials are independent because we are told the brokers are chosen at random. That means there is uh, independence. So in dealing with this question, the first thing that you need to do is to tell us, uh, is to say, let success be equal to recommend. That is our success. And to be said, my success is what we are looking for. P, the probability of success is 0 0.8. And therefore, Q must be 0 0.2. Because we are saying P plus Q should be 1. And the trials that we are doing, we are told we are going to contact six stock brokers. Then X, now this is at least four of them. At least four. Now, when they tell you at least four, what does it mean in terms of numbers? At least four. At least four in terms of numbers, it means four, all, five, all, six. Because that's math. So we are going then to say, uh, because we have a formula there, let's not implicate it, just up there. So um, then, or thus, probability that x capital is equal to 4. It will be n, that is 6, combining 4, multiplied by 0 0.8 raised power 4, multiplied by 0 0.2 raised power 2. Because of n, 6 minus 4 is. So combination with the to Kijibu. So same as six combined four. And give me to four decimals, zero point five eight. Uh, then we get the next one, probability that x is equal to five. It's equal to five. So it's six combined five. Multiplied by zero point eight, raised power five. Multiplied by zero point two, now raised power one. Zero point zero nine eight three. Ah, yeah. probability that x is equal to six would be six combined six. Multiply by zero point eight, you raise power six. Multiply by zero point two, you raise power zero. This one. Yeah. Zero point zero seven eight six. Seven eight six. That's it. Okay. Yeah. 
Zero point two six to one. So because you are saying uh, so probability that x is greater than or equal to four, that is at least four, it is zero point two four five eight plus zero point zero seven eight six plus zero point two six two one. Zero point three five zero nine. <laughs> Right, let's go to the next one. The next question in a sem uh, are you state? Salesperson considers that 60% of the customers with whom he deals can qualify financially for a mortgage loan for the house of their choice. Determine the probability that the salesperson will process five loan applications before three approvals are obtained. So, in dealing with that, again, we say let our success to be the approval. Someone has been approved, approval. And uh, then probability of uh, approval, we are told 0 0.6. 60% of the customers qualify. It then means that Q is 0 0.4. Those who will not qualify, they are 40%. And then we are told, what is the probability that you process five? So N is five, it's doing five tries. Before three approvals are obtained. So X, is before three. So when you are told before three, exactly what does that mean? It is zero, all, one, all, two. Those are the values that are before three. Those are the values that are before three. So if that is so, uh, then probability that x capital is equal to zero will be five choose zero multiplied by zero point six you raise to our zero multiplied by zero point four you raise to our five. Yeah. 
Zero point zero one zero two. Okay. I am probability that X is equal to one is five combined one. Multiple by zero point six raised to power one. Multiple by zero point four raised to power four. Zero point zero seven six eight. Zero point zero seven six eight. Ah, probability that x is equal to two is five combined two. Multiply by zero point six raised power two. Multiply by zero point four raised power three. Zero point two three zero four. Aha, uh -huh. so the probability that X is less than three should be zero point zero one zero two plus zero point zero seven six eight. Plus zero point two three zero four. Zero point seven four. Do we pass You can try the other question that follows there on your own. Mark the question what? That was 16. So question 17 is of the same. You can try that. Let's now discuss the next one. Poisson, mobility distribution. Poison mobility distribution. And write that this is used where the following characteristics exist. This is used where the following characteristics exist. This is used where the following characteristics exist. One, the experiment leads to a discrete variable. The experiment relates to a discrete variable. Number two.
the experiment happens within the experiments happen within small time intervals small time intervals which are known as trials small time intervals which are known as trials And number three is that the trials are independent of each other. The trials are independent of each other. And number four is that the average occurrences in each trial average occurrences in each trial is known and remains constant. Is known and remains constant. Is known and remains constant. Then down there, write that. If the above properties have been met, the above properties have been met, a okay, formula probability that x capital is equal to x small is x raised to power e raised to power. where this one is the mean and is also the bias. And E is 2.7182. So that is what we call the Poisson. It's also a small one. Like that. So let's go to question number what? 18. Question number 18. We are told eh? during a normal day, the average number of lorries arriving to unload at the depot is three per hour. What is the probability that in any hour more than four lorries will arrive? More than four lorries will arrive. So what happens is, uh, first of all, now we are answering question what? 18, eh? The first thing is to know the mean, the average occurrence within the interval. We are told that during a normal day, the average number of boys arriving to a road is what? Three per hour. Three per hour, that's the average. What is the probability that in the hour more than four will arrive? So X is more than four. So if we are told more than four, what exactly does that mean? It means a five or six or all the others, in fact, I am wish of infinite because we do not know how many they are. Nama kama hiyo za binomial tulikuwa tunasimamia 6 because tulikuwa tumeambiwa ni 6. Lakini sasa hapa uwezi jua atajaambiwa what is the maximum number of cars that can pass through this point. Now if that is the case eh a probability that x is greater than 4 
it could easier be handled as one minus probability that x is less than or equal to four. It could be easier be had with that way. Because as I have to view it with a thicker pack of And what we know is that all of them, when they are zero pack of wish, they will add to what? One. So that's what we said about probabilities. So it is better we had a wish. So if that is true, then uh, in other words, we are saying one minus probability that x is zero, one, two, three, four. That is what I'm saying. Those ones will be easier. We already have the formula up there, so there will be no need of uh, a copy. So probability that x is zero. It is e raised to power minus lambda. Lambda is three, so raised to power minus three. Multiplied by a uh, lambda, which is three, you raise to power x, zero. You divide by zero factorial. Now you can either go straight to the calc, which me a e, but at times I find students having an issue. So once I come to Nazoya, the normal one, then by then to go this one uh, later. So this one to the 2.7182 you raise power minus three, then three you raise power zero, you divide by zero factorial. So that Zero point four nine eight. Okay. Ah, uh, probability of x being equal to one is e raised to the minus three times three raised to the one. You divide by one factorial. So this is 2.7182 raised to the minus three times three raised to the one, you divide by one factorial. Zero point one four nine eight. Okay. Then probability that x is equals to two is e raised to the minus three times three raised to the two. You divide by two factorial. This is two point seven one eight two raised to the minus three times three squared, you divide by two factorial. Zero point two two four. I have probability that x is equal to three will be e raised to power minus three, three raised to power three out of three factorial. So 2.7182 raised to power minus three times three cubed, you divide by three factorial. Yeah. 
Zero point two two four. Ah, probability that x is equal to four is e raised to the minus three times three raised to the four out of four factorial. Two point seven one eight two raised to the minus three times three raised to the four out of four factorial. Zero point one six eight. Ah, yeah. So when we were told probability that x is greater than uh, x is less than four, it's more than you are looking for more than four. Zero. X is more than four. It is one minus uh, zero point four nine eight minus zero point one four nine minus zero point two two four. Minus zero point two two four minus zero point one six six. Something is wrong, especially this one. Zero point zero. Yes, that's too easy, by the way. Zero point zero four nine eight. Probability can never be negative or more than one. So if it's zero point zero four nine eight, then that gives us what? Point three three four two n. Point three three four two. Okay. But basically, that is the use of the formula. Right? So you can be able to add the other one. The issue is to identify this, me, and this one. Eh? And then when you have the formulas, then you are good to go. So now the time is fast bent. So we stop it at that point. We pick up from there tomorrow. Thank you.